really important finding that we look for during the examination. How, how do the eyes align? Are they straight? Do they tend to go out? Do they tend to go in? Very important, very important, is how they tend to align in a vertical dimension. The least bit of divergence between the two eyes in a vertical dimension could really cause a patient to have a lot of problems. What type of problems? Headaches, loss of place while reading, being sensitive to even bright lights or sometimes dizziness, and if they're really tired, they can develop double vision. I had two interesting cases occur. This was a nine-year-old girl who came in, actually it's about in the last week or two, and she had this little bit of deviation. As soon as we corrected it with a lens called the prism and made it so the eyes were no longer misaligned or the images that she was looking at were no longer misaligned, she noticed that she had depth perception. She was able to see things in 3D. She was able to say, this is like HD what I'm looking at. And the mom was amazed. The second patient, which was an interesting comment too, also had a little deviation between the two eyes. And her comment was, it feels like my jaw's unclenching. She was under so much stress from this misalignment and trying to pull the eyes together that it kind of encompassed her whole face and actually body structure. So this is just one small finding to look for when doing an examination. And if it's there, it's actually not so small for the patient.